Before we start exercising, I just want to urge you to go at your own pace. Um, never force, never rush. We, we don't have to do that. Um, drink plenty of water. If you get tired, sit down. Now, um, if I'm marching in place and I get tired, I can sit down and march in my chair so we can modify it. And I want to also thank everybody at the Senior Center for making all these, um, these emails that they sent to us, all the videos that they, they sent to us to keep us active. And um, I heard something inspirational on TV the other day. Imagine that on TV. But they said, sooner or later, this isolation thing that we're going through is going to be over. So when it is, we'll be able to go out to, um, to our churches and our gyms and our, all our regular activities. So what kind of shape do you want to be in when you, when you go back out there? Do you want to be tired? Um, do you want to be out of shape? Or do you want to be ready to go when we get back there? So um, that's why I hope you'll keep, keep up on the exercise. Thanks again. everybody. I'm Nancy Samato and I teach exercise at the Senior Center in Worcester. And we have a lot of fun there exercising together, but right now we can't be together. So we're making this um, video so that you can exercise with me at home. Next best thing. So we're going to do our aerobics today, just like we do at the center. And you're going to need your sneakers. You're going to need your, your water so we stay hydrated. Um, a set of weights if you have them. But if you don't have them, you can do imaginary weights or you can get creative and you can get a couple of soup cans and, and do that. And then uh, later on, we'll, we'll use in the chair when we do our stretches. So let's get going and start with a nice little warm up. And I'll just get the music going. All right. Start out nice and slow. We're just going to raise the heels. I'm not marching right now. I'm just lifting my heels up. Just kind of loosen up. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now maybe pretend you have a basketball and you're bouncing the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Both hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, feet wide apart, side stretch, stretch. One, reach, two, reach, three, reach, four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, seven, and reach for eight. The other side, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Reach, one, reach, two, reach, three, four, and five, and six, and seven and eight. Okay, shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. And two more. And last one. Okay, are we ready now? We'll start our marching. Now, there's more than one way to march. We can keep it little and low like this, but if you're full of pep and energy, you can lift up the knees so you do it your way all right let's do a toe tap 
we're going to tap, 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 tap. So, so far, so good. <laughs> it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little march. One. Good. Okay, it's, this was, next one is going to be a heel tap. So we'll do heel, 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 heel. This always reminds me of tap dancing. All right, one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and march in place. So um, whenever you don't know what to do, you, you might mess up a little bit, just stop marching. As long as you're marching, you're, you're moving. All right, how about an arm swing, one at a time. So what you do is go up with one and up with the other. Let's go, up, one, up, two, up, three. Shoulder height is good enough, up, Six, up, seven, up, eight. All right, I probably miscounted there, but close enough. <laughs> two at a time. It's up, one, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, five, and up, six, and up, seven, and up. Very good, all right. We're gonna do a thing called step tap. You just go side tap, side tap. All right? Here we go. It's one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can do different things with the hands. So how about an elbow tap? Just mix it up a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can do a pendulum swing. Let's do that for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back to the march. Okay, we're doing good. Stay with it. All right, remember the step tap? We're gonna do a double step tap. So we'll go two steps this way, two steps that way. Ready, set, go. Step, step, and other way. And one, two, the other way, two. And one, two, other way for two. One, two, you got it. Keep going. One, two, one, two. Now, if you want to get a little fancy, we're gonna do wax on, wax off. So, wax on and wax off. And one, and two, and three, <laughs> and four, and five, good, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna march next, good, all right. We're going to do one more thing and then we're going to um, stop and get a, a drink of water. We want to stay hydrated, really important. All right, let's do a grapevine. I think you all know grapevine. Go this way. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Good. All right. And keep it going. We want to earn that uh, drink of water. <laughs> We're going to do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, good. Let's get that drink of water. Now, what I like to do when I'm having my water, I don't like to sit down or just stand around. 
I like to keep moving a little bit. All right. Okay. Now later on, we're gonna be weightlifting. Right now we're gonna do imaginary weights, so um, just a little warm up for that. First one is bicep curls, so pretend you've got your weights. And we're gonna lift up and down. Now watch how I do this. I control the movement. Um, I don't wanna go, you know, swing in my arms. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go, lift, one, lift, two, lift, three, lift, four, lift, five, lift, six, lift, seven, lift, eight. All right. This one is tricep curls. We're gonna go behind the back. I'll just turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Hold your weights like this, and you're gonna go back and front, back and front. Ready? Back, one, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, and back, eight. Okay. Straight arm lift, all right? I still pretend I have my weights. And I'm gonna go shoulder height and down. And up, one, up, two. Lift up, three, up, four. This is kinda of nice for your posture. Five, up, six, up, seven, and up, eight. Good, march it out. All right. Side lift, all right, still got your imaginary weights. You're gonna go up and down. Shoulder height is good, you don't have to go higher than that. Ready, up, one, up, two, lift up, three, and up, four, and up, five, lift up, six, lift up, seven, lift up, eight. All right, we're gonna put the last two together. A little coordination needed for this one. We're gonna go front and down and side. Got it? Front and side for one. Front and side for two. Good. Front and side for three. And front and side four. Front and side five. Front and down and side for five, front and down and side for six, front and down, side for seven, one more, front and side for eight, really good. All right, we're gonna do a knee lift now. I'm gonna do opposite arm and leg, I'll show you. I'm gonna go up and up, ready, go. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. Very good, okay. A little energy in that one, huh? All right, pretend you are taking up kickboxing. All right, you put on your boxing gloves and we're gonna punch. So this is a jab, they call it a jab. You're gonna punch and punch. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go, punch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, punch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, <laughs> march in place. All right. This is the way Popeye does it. <laughs> he does an uppercut. So we're gonna go up and up. Ready, set, go. It's up, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Again, it's up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, after that, I think we should get another drink. Remember, you know, keep moving a little bit, walk around, uh, just kind of bop around while you're having your, your water. Now, oh, you don't have to wait until I say, drink your water. Drink it any time. All right, we're going to do a triple step to the side. Three steps this way, three that way. Ready? One, two, three. The other way, two, three. You got it. One, two, three. The other way, two, three. And one, and two, and three, and four, two, three, and five, two, three, and six, two, three, and seven, two, three, and one more, eight, two, three, and go back to your spot. All right. Now let's pretend we're in the rowboat. Hold on to the oars. No motor, we have to power it on our own. Row the boat. Pull, one, pull, two, pull, three. Row the boat, four, and row, five. Watch my feet, six, row, seven. I'm gonna change feet now. Row, one, row, Two, row, three. Good for the shoulders and the chest. Row, five, row, six. Whoops, I'm losing it. Seven, and row, eight, and march it out. All right, we're doing great. Let's pretend we're in a canoe this time. So we have a paddle. We hold on like this, and we're gonna row one row the canoe, row three, and back for four, and five, and six, and seven. I'm gonna change feet now and change the side too so we don't go in a circle. And row three, and row four, row five, row six, two more, row seven, and row eight. Very good. All right, no boat. Now we're swimming. <laughs> so we're gonna do the breaststroke. We're gonna reach out and make a circle like that. And five, six, seven, eight, swim. One, swim, two, swim, three, swim, four, swim, five, good, swim, six, swim, seven, swim, eight, all right. Still swimming. We're gonna do this and this for the shoulders, for a range of motion. Ready, go. Swim, one, swim, two, swim, much, 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 and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, guess what's next? The backstroke. So the feet are going twice as fast as the arms. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Back, one. Back, two. Back, much, much, much. Back, four. Back, five. Back, six. Back, seven and back, eight. Okay, good. Let's do a grapevine again. Five, we'll go this way. Six, seven, eight, let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, I know we did this earlier. I know this is a repeat, but instead of clapping the hands like we've been doing, 
we're gonna slap the knee. One, two, three, slap. One, two, three, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good. Well, so far so good. We're all, you're all still here with me, I hope. <laughs> Just a few more minutes of the aerobics and then we'll be um, doing our weightlifting with real weights. All right, let's pretend we're, I've, I saw a mother and two kids skipping rope in their driveway the other day, so that's what we're gonna do. Put one foot slightly ahead of the other and skip rope, all right? I, I don't like to jump rope, that's kind of hot on the knees, but skipping rope is good. Let's do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's get another drink. You can't have too much water, <laughs> especially now. It's good to stay hydrated when you're exercising and even when you're not. Okay, we're gonna march in a circle. Uh, we like to do this at the senior center because you go around and you get to see everybody in the group. So I'm gonna pretend you're all here with me and I can see all of you. What you're gonna do is march eight and you're gonna turn to the right and march for eight and keep going till you made the circle. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's march, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and turn. Five, six, seven, eight, now turn. Five, six, seven, eight, now turn. Let's go the other way. It's front, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now turn. Six, seven, eight, now turn. Six, seven, eight, now turn. Six, seven, eight, now turn, okay. Now this is the one everybody wishes I would forget. This is our trio. <laughs> we do a knee slap. That's the first part of the trio. So that looks like this. Slap, slap, slap. All right, it's good for our balance. Here we go. Five, whoops, six, seven, eight. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now march in place. All right, the second part is we call it the miss. You're not gonna slap, you're gonna miss like that. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Miss two, three, four, five, six, seven seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and march in place. I probably should have said this earlier, but if you have your feet close together, it's, um, it's a challenge for your balance. If you have them wider apart, it's, you feel more sure-footed. So let's keep them a little wider apart for part three. So, going to be wrist to knee. I'll show you what I mean by that. Up and up. All right? Ready, set, go. It's up. Two, three, four. See how wide apart my feet are? Seven, eight. Again, it's up. Two, a little twist in the waist. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. March in place. All right. 
not sure if we did this um, overhead press with our imaginary weights. So let's do it now. You're gonna hold your weights like this, all right? And you're gonna lift up one and down and the other one and down. Five and six and seven and eight. Here we go, up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, and up, five, and up, six, up, seven, two at a time now. Here we go, up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, good energy, five, up, six, up, seven, up, very good, okay, a little notch. So I hope we have enough room for this one. We're gonna march forward for four and we're gonna push back for four. So five, six, seven, eight. March two, three, four, push, two, three, four. And march two, three, four, and push, two, three, four. And march two, three, four, and push, two, three, four. Last one, march two, three, four, and push, two, three, four. All right, good. All right. This is, we're just gonna dance now. We're not gonna worry about steps and if we, if we have the right form, we're just gonna dance. We're gonna make a, a box. We're gonna march forward for four, to the right for two, back for four, to the left for two. I know, you, you'll catch on right away. Here we go. One, two, three, four, side, two, and back, Two, three, four, and side. Two, and front. Two, three, four, side. Two, and back. Two, three, four, side. Two, and front, and side, side, and back, side, side. Whoops. Front. Two, three, four, side, side, and back. Two, three, four, side, side. Let's do four more. Side, side and back, two, three, four, side. That's one, front, two, three, four, and side, side, and back, two, three, four, and side. That's two, front, side, side, and back, side, side. That's three, two, three, four, side, side, and back, two, three, four, and side, side, <laughs> okay. We're gonna cool down now. We've been doing a lot of marching and we're gonna take it down a notch, all right? Toe tap like we did earlier in the class. It's toe, toe, toe. Now I like to do opposite hand and foot because that balances you out nicely. Eight more of these, all right? Nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and march. Heel tap, just like we did earlier. Heel, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it again. Heel, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, a little march, but a low march. Remember the heel raise? Keep your toes planted and just lift up your heels. All right. Kind of like a jazz walk, huh? Nice and loose in the shoulders. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. All right. Remember the step tap, step tap with a difference. This is our quick pace. We're gonna do eight quick ones. We're gonna do eight slow ones. And it's, um, it's beneficial for your balance. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow it down, one, and wait. 
two, and wait, and three, and four, and five, and wait, and six, and wait, and seven, and wait, and eight, back to the quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, slow it down. One, whoops, one, two, I said slow it down and my feet weren't listening. So we're gonna do it now. One, and wait, two, and wait, three, and wait, four, and wait, five, and six, and seven, and eight, good. Now you can keep your feet apart. We're gonna do a nice big inhale and exhale. So start down here, bend your knees. We're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Ready? Inhale, two, three, four. Now exhale down, three, four. Breathe in deep, three, four. Breathe out all the way, two, three, four. Energy in, troubles out. One more, confidence in, negative thinking out, and come back up. All right, we're gonna finish with our side stretch. After that, a drink of water, and we'll go into weightlifting, part two. Ready? Reach, one, reach, two, no more marching now, three, reach, four, reach, five, reach, six, two more, reach, seven, reach, other side, reach, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, terrific job, okay, get your water, get your weights, and come on back for part two. Okay, we're back and we're gonna do uh, weights now. And like I said earlier, if you don't, you might not have weights at home. I do because, you know, that's me. But you can use soup cans. Even, you could even use a water bottle. It's kind of a good shape for weightlifting. Uh, just do the motions without the weights. It'll work, as long as we're moving. So you'll be happy to know that we're gonna sit down now. <laughs> we're gonna lift weights with our feet. How do you do that? You're gonna do a heel lift. So heels up and down, heels up and down, up and down. Now do this while you're watching television. It keeps your ankles flexible and in good shape. And it also works your calves, all right? Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four. Check your posture, make sure you're sitting up tall. Six, I think, up, seven, up, eight. All right, plant your heels and lift your toes. And you're gonna find this one, you're gonna feel this in the calf, and not the calves, the shins and the ankles. Ready, let's lift, up, one, up, two, up, three, and the weights add a little resistance. Up, five, up, six, up, seven. Now rocking chair, back and forth and back and forth. Ankles, shins and calves, good posture. All right, I like to do this um, when I ride on a bus, you know, you're on the bus for a long time. And then you get up, your ankles are stiff, and you're walking down the aisle with st stiff ankles. Well, do this before you uh, get up and walk around. All right, one more set of eight. And rock, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, a knee lift. All right, for this one, I like to scooch forward to the edge of the chair, and I'm gonna lift up one, and lift up the other. Ready, up, one, up, two. Strengthens the upper legs. Up, five, up, six. We need that, seven. Let's do it again. 
and up. One, up. Two for strength. Three, up. Four, up. Five, up. Six, up. Seven, up. Eight. Okay, we're going to stand up now. Sometimes if you try to stand up holding your weights, it's a little awkward. So I kind of put them back on my chair, and then I stand up without them, and then I get them later. Okay, let's do bicep curls. We did it before without the weights. Here's the big one, one at a time. Five, six, seven, eight, lift, one, lift, two, and lift, three, control the weights, four, up, Five, don't swing them. Six, up, seven, two at a time. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. All right, overhead press. We're going to get fancy this time. We're going to go up, one, up with the other one, and then both. So we have to we have to put it all together. Coordinate. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Up and up and double and right and left and double. Two and right and left and double for three and right and left and double for four right and left and double for five whoops right and left and double for six see you have to pay attention and left and double for seven one more right one more left one more double Eight. All right, bring them down. Good. Let's do that tricep curl, the behind the back exercise. And so we're going to go back and front. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. <laughs> Ready again? Back. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Now belly in. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven, let's do it twice, because this is good for the backs of the arms. Back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight. Okay, good. Let's do a butterfly. Now, we didn't do this one earlier. You're gonna, it's for the chest and shoulders. You're gonna open up and then bring them back in. All right, open, one, open, two, open, three, it's not as easy as it looks, open, five, open, six, open, seven, open, eight. All right, you're gonna like this one. We're gonna stretch the back. So bend your knees a little bit and bring your weights down, bring your head down, and relax your back. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now super slow, we're gonna roll up. Slow, 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 so we don't get dizzy. Roll up to standing, okay, good. All right, let's do side arm lift, all right? We're gonna lift, shoulder heights good enough, and down again, five, six, seven, eight, up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, very good. Okay, I'm gonna sit down again, and we're gonna do, we're gonna fly. So I sit near the front of the chair, and I come down with one weight down here, the other weight down here, and I'm going to fly. So I want, I'm going to keep my head up so you can see, but I want you to just drop your head down or heavy and low. 
We're gonna fly, one, fly, two. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Four, fly, five, fly, six, fly, seven, fly, eight. Very good, coming up slow, one weight at a time, and come back up to sitting. All right, I'm gonna stand up again. All this um, sitting and standing is part of it. All right, so we're back up. And we only need one weight for this exercise. So you're gonna hold it like this and bring it behind your back. I'll show you, like this. And you're gonna lift up and down. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. Now watch my hands. This one on top is going to go down the bottom. And I'm going to do it again. Up, one, up, two for the triceps, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. Very good, and bring it down. Okay, we'll, st we'll stick with one, and we're gonna do upward row. So for this one, you hold it horizontal, and you lift it up under your chin, and down again. Now, make sure your elbows come up with it. You don't wanna go like this. That's wimpy, all right? <laughs> you wanna bring the elbows up. Ready? It's up, one, up, two, up, three, standing tall, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. Good, all right, good. We're gonna do a little teapot. So um, this is my handle, and this is my spout. My feet are wide apart, and I'm gonna tip like so. Now, make it easy, uh, make it gentle. You're just gonna relax. You're not gonna push, all right? We're gonna do eight. Side, one, side, two. It's for the waist. Three, side, four, side, five, side, six, side, seven, side. Now change your handle. Push, one. This is a tiny bit harder. Push, three, side, four, side, Five, relax your neck and shoulders. Side, seven, side. Change your handle again and reach. And two, well, we've done this one a few times. Three, reach, four, reach, five, reach for six, reach for seven, and reach for eight. Now that took care of this side of the body. So I feel a little lopsided now. I wanna change sides. Here's my handle, here's my spout over here. Side, one, side, two, side, three, relax, four, five, six, side, seven, side, eight. All right, change that handle. Side, one, side, two, side, three, side, four, side, five, relax, six, side, seven, side, eight, reach over the top, reach, two, reach, three, reach, four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, seven, reach, eight, okay, now I'm kind of glad I have my chair here, it's for confidence. So we're gonna stand behind it. I've got my two weights. Now, you're not gonna fall, but if you felt like you were gonna lose your balance, your chair is right here. So what we're gonna do is raise the heels up and down, all right? Chair for confidence, here we go. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, 
eight. Now up and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Back to the chair. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back to the rocking chair. We're almost done on the weights. It goes by so fast. And rock, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Again, rock, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do our upward row again. So, put that down here. Um, have the weight down like so and you're going to pull it up under the chin. Ready, set, go. Up, one, up, two. Remember, elbows are coming up. Up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven. Now we're going to go forehead height. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, last one, and you did it. Aerobics, weightlifting, we're going to um, have a drink, keep your chair nearby, put your weights away, and then we're going to do our stretches, our yoga. All right, be right back. We're going to do a cool down now, our stretching. Our yoga, after the marching, after the weightlifting, we like to have this um, quiet, relaxing, cool down. So I just had a sip of water, I hope you did too. And um, let's get started on a few gentle stretches. All right, I'm gonna start in the chair, sit near close to the front, and I'm gonna raise up one knee and hold on to it. This feels nice on your back. It relaxes your hip. It relaxes your back. Now, you can stay like this, or you could maybe go a little higher. But don't do this. Don't crunch up. Oh, I'm doing a good job. No. Shoulders back and down. Lift up your chest. Straighten your spine. Lift the top of the head up. A stretch for the hip and the lower back. Oh, okay. Now, some people like to hold on underneath. They feel more comfortable. That's good, too. Lower that one down. Other side. Uh, so when your back is tight, simple little thing you can do. Shoulders relax. Good posture. <sighs> good. Let that one down. All right, this time I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna sit all the way back in my chair and raise up my feet. Um, I'm gonna point and flex with the feet, all right? Point and flex and point and flex. I don't think we have to count for this one. Just go at your own pace. Feel it in the shins, feel it in the calves, and feel it in the ankles, good. Now we're gonna circle. All right, flexibility in the ankles. All right, I'm gonna go the other way. If you feel like mm, my ankles aren't that flexible, keep at it, they will improve, All right? Another one you can do while you're watching TV and then lower it down. Scooching up again, I'm gonna think about my knee when I do this one. Lift up one leg and hold on underneath. And we're gonna bend and straighten the, the knee. It's all about this, all right? So I'm gonna kick up and down. Up, one, up, two, let's do six. Up, three, up, four, up, five. One more, up for six. So I feel like I'm just kind of oiling up the knee. Other one. Kick, one, kick, two, kick, three, kick, four, kick, five, 
kick, six, and lower that one down. A back stretch. All right, heavy knees wide apart for um, control, you know, and hands on knees at first, then elbows on knees. And oh, just stretch out that spine. Now let your head hang down, heavy and low. Relax your neck. Give it, give your head a shake. And we're going to come up super slow. Palms of the hands on the knees. Roll up so slow as not to get dizzy. And we're back to sitting. Okay, now I'm going to turn to the side. So I'm turning to the right and sitting sideways in my chair. What you want to do now is raise your arms up. All right, straighten your spine, get nice and tall. Twist, 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 and then hold on to the back of the chair. Breathe, relax your shoulders, lift up the top of the head. Oh, that's good. And let go and come back to the middle. That's a spinal twist. Keep the spine nice and flexible. We'll go over to this side. This part's really important to get a straight spine, a tall back, twist and hold. Shoulders relax. Breathe, relax the legs and the feet. And let go and come back to the middle. Okay. Shall we stand? Back up. And we're going to do a, a beach ball stretch. So pretend that you're holding a beach ball. And you want to keep it the same distance. If I go wide, I'm going to drop the ball. So I want to keep it the same distance the whole time. Inhale, raise the ball up. Now press your hips and thighs forward and Go gently back. Now, we're not going to force anything. Gentle back bend. Inhale, up. And exhale, stretch to the side. Look at that imaginary ball. Inhale, raise up. You guessed it. Exhale to the other side. Don't drop the ball. Inhale, up. Now we're going to do it again because the second time we'll have more range of motion and feel better. Ready? Inhale, raise up. Exhale, squeeze the buttocks. Press forward with the hips and thighs as you go into your backward bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, stretch over to one side. Inhale, raise up. And exhale the other side. You never force. You just go at your own pace. Inhale up. Now we didn't do this originally, but we're going to put the ball down. So stretch your hands out in front. Come halfway down with a flat back. I hope I have a flat back. And exhale, come all the way down. Put the ball down on the floor. Halfway up. And now all the way up. And lower your hands down by your side. Very good. All right, I'm back in my chair. Shoulder rolls. I'm going to go up, back, and down. Actually, this could be done just as well standing. Up, back, and down. Up back and down. How about two more? Relax those shoulders. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Touching fingertips on my shoulders and I'm going to circle with my elbows. Upper back and shoulders benefit from this. Let's do four. Nice and slow. Three, two, and one. Now that time I, I went forward. This time I'm going to go up, back, and down. 
up, back, and down. Think about your posture. Oh, that feels good. Two more. And I don't mind if you close your eyes while you're doing this. You really feel it. Okay, tip your head forward. You will feel a stretch on the back of the neck. And then raise up. Tip your head to one side, any side you pick. Now, did your shoulder go up? Relax your shoulders, let them down. Inhale, raise up. Exhale the other way. Shoulders down. Oh, a lot of us is tight in the neck. This feels good. Inhale up. Last one is going backwards. Lift your chin up, gentle, gentle, gentle. Drop your head back. Relax your shoulders. And then raise up. We're almost done. We're gonna do uh, four deep breaths sitting and four standing. Okay, so I'll bring my feet wide apart. I'm gonna inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. I breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the lips. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale, energize. Confidence. Exhale, let go. Okay, very good. Standing up. Um, I just realized I didn't do a balance yet, so we're going to do a small balance. Well, we did one, but we'll do another one. All right. I'm just going to stand on one leg and lift the other one. That's all. I'm holding on to my chair. Nothing bad's going to happen. And then I'm just going to take one hand off. Then maybe I'll try taking the other hand off. But I can always go back if I have to, all right? And lower that foot down. Other side. Okay. Now, if you stand up straight, you'll have a better chance of um, staying in balance. If you lean forward, you, you won't have a, much of a chance. All right. Um, I'm going to do a side leg lift for the hip. I'm going to raise up and down six times. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, and the other side. Up, one, up, two, up, three, feel it right here, up, four, up, five, up, six. All right, let's do that inhale, exhale, and then we're going to ask you to sit and close your eyes just for a few minutes, all right? Remember this one, feet apart. Inhale. Exhale. Energy in. Worries out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Don't forget to breathe. And then we'll come up. Have a seat. All right, get comfortable. And sit in your chair and wiggle around till you feel really comfortable. And then close your eyes. I just want you to notice how your body feels after the exercise. Can you feel heat, pulsation, energy? Can you almost feel the blood flowing throughout the body?
exercise really gives us a tune-up of the body and also of the mind. All right, when you're ready, we're going to take a breath in through the nose and a breath out through the lips. And then open your eyes. Thank you very much for exercising with me today. Um, I miss you. I'll be happy when we can get back together. Um, always remember when you're exercising, just go at your own pace. I should have said that right from the start. Go at your own pace. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing throughout. Drink lots of water. That's always good. And until I see you again, thank you. <laughs>